Come back. A group of Eastern Cape ANC Youth League members find themselves in hot water. ANC Secretary General Fikile Mbalula says he's taking disciplinary action against them. That's after they convened an unauthorized elective congress in Komani. It elected former University of Cape Town SRC Deputy President Lunto Sokutu as its chairperson. Let's speak to Sokutu now. Thank you very much uh, for speaking to us this evening. We appreciate your time. Um, so, so the irregular, irregularities cited by the SG are twofold. Uh, he's saying that there was no recorded decision authorizing the holding of a provincial uh, congress and there was no evidence that the required audits had been done. Uh, we know you've issued uh, quite a lengthy legal response to the SG, but if you could uh, give us the essence of that rebuttal. Um, look, we... As the Eastern Cape, no way decisions of that nature, discussions of that nature are taken. And unfortunately, that's a discussion we will have in the right platform, which is either a national youth testing meeting or a national executive committee meeting that will be elected in this Congress that is meant to start today. So we don't want to discuss um, the validity of Congresses. Um, when the Eastern Cape Provincial Executive Committee of the ANC went to the 2017 Congress, it went there with a spoon debate report that was um, saying that that uh, a provincial conference was convened wrong. So a national conference or a national congress is not the platform to, dis to discuss whether the provincial congress was valid or not. We want to have a leadership elected here that will be able to determine that through the relevant processes or the leadership, the interim leadership that is already here, which is prevented from sitting its meetings, discuss that matter. But that's not why we're here. We're here for a national Congress that we were invited to, which we were told starting on the 30th. And unfortunately, um, we see delegates are entering in their majority. We see police are here. We see men in black and barrettes are here. Everyone is here, even pastors just entered um, and uh, the Congress venue. Everyone is here at Congress except leadership. Leadership has been hiding wherever it is hiding and we're calling on leadership to come to the National Congress. It said it is starting on the 30th. You can't say there's a National Congress on the 30th and at this time, um, no, there's no sight of leadership at this National Congress. One leadership to come, leave hotels and come to the National Congress that was said to be sitting on the 30th. Fortunately, yesterday, National invited to a National Congress of the Youth League, come to a National Congress of the Youth League. It starts on the 30th. We are here. All delegates are here, as we said. Police is here. Um, we don't know Ndobakulin doing Tony. I want to go back to the issue specifically of the Provincial Congress, uh, because the SG has said that he will institute disciplinary measures against you. Um, if the issues, uh, as you say, are not substantive that the SG has raised, why do you think he's launching such a scathing attack and threatening disciplinary action? No, no. Um, the Secretary General, I, I think um is well within his rights to to communicate what needs to be communicated as i said in the last interview the last time we met the secretary general we were invited into a meeting and we were told we'd be invited to a physical meeting in johannesburg we are here in johannesburg for a national congress or any other meeting that we're invited to the secretary general um will uh, be engaged uh, as and when we're invited um, to engage, whether in a disciplinary hearing, we don't know, I've not seen any invite. Unfortunately, I'm in a national Congress, so I'm unable to then uh, comment on behalf of the SG. I can comment on behalf of the Eastern Cape delegation, which is here at the National Congress venue in Nazareth, waiting for the few delegates um, that have not at, have arrived. We know they are here, they've been registered the text, but it is clear there is this venue that 
the few delegates are being invited to. And we're saying to those delegates, stop being instructed to leave Congress venue that was supposed to start on the third year. Come to the Congress venue. We are also requesting leadership to come to the Congress venue. No National Congress has ever, until this time, not even seen a single blue light. The only blue lights that are here are police who are here to ensure that this National Congress proceeds swiftly. Now, delegates are left stranded because leadership is in hotels or wherever it is convening. If there are outstanding meetings, disciplinary actions, anything that needs to be attended to, here is the venue of National Congress. Those can be concluded here. But you can't have delegates left stranded, walking up and down, others instructed to go left, others instructed to go right, while leadership mm -hmm. is chilling in hotels or wherever they are hiding. Leadership must come to National Congress. I get your point. It seems band, that uh, for every one person who enters, there are a couple more who leave. Uh, we do hope you get underway. Unfortunately, we have run out of time, but thank you very much uh, for speaking to us. Uh, that was Luntu Sokutu, Eastern Cape ANC Youth League.